yeah. one of the things that people kind of neglect is their walls. And a lot of times they're like, oh, we'll just do an accent wall. We'll just throw a little paint up there. Right. Eh, it's a little boring. Um, <laughs> so I always recommend doing something like this textured wall. This is amazing. These are just pressed recycled paper. These are paper and you just stick them on the wall. Double stick tape. If you're in a rental, I advise using double stick tape. If you're in a permanent home, I would Look use some type of adhesive. Look how that is than just tape. Now, pro tip, when you order something like this that's a pressed paper, let right. it sit in your home for about a week to acclimate to your oh, humidity. Right, Otherwise, they'll expand and contract once you put them up and then it's a nightmare. Right, so order it, let it be let for it a sit. week. Order it, and forget it, then rock do it. out your wall. <laughs> wall. Right? So Amazing. gallery walls, people kind of get scared because you're like, where do I put it? I always like to divide my wall into four quadrants. And you put the gallery that's wall in the second tip. from the top. Yep. That's because such a it's good tip. eye level that's for most people. Level. Right. Yep. So that way you put it up there, you get to design it, and because it's not too low. If you put it down here, it's weird. If you put it up here, <laughs> it's also weird. So right here. Or if they're here. all like blobbed around, like there's one up here, right. three down here. This keeps it nice and it organized. It keeps you focused, exactly. right? Which we have a hard time doing sometimes, right? I know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so true. another good tip is to lay it out on the ground first or a table. Um, if you have large pieces of paper, I actually do like to trace it out on the paper, cut it out and put it up on the wall. I also like to make sure I kind of measure the space in between because you also want this to be kind of be cohesive as well. Yeah, exactly. If you've got big gaps over here, it, it gets detached. It throws it the whole thing right. off. Exactly. And you know, most people make, uh, of course, in personal memory walls and their family photos, but I actually love the vibe of just taking these beautiful papers. Papers, yeah. wallpaper, gift wrap. There's some amazing gift wrap with the Fab Five faces on it you could put on there. <laughs> <laughs> You can have all five of us staring at you, you on the wall. If you walked your house, you had these guys staring back at you. In the morning, you do your affirmations in the bathroom, and it's all of us cheering you on. Crazy. All right. We're moving on to the bathroom, and I was telling Bobby, I was telling BB, <laughs> RR says no, no to this, to this whole thing. It, Th these disgusting floor mats in front of a toilet. This, think about how these much are just, pee is in there. I mean, for me, I'm like, get rid of these. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> And I would just do a rug in front of the sink. And, and I did a rectangle right? one because in New York, you know, your shower's always here because there's not enough space. So if you can do it, put it in front of your sink and this way, so that way it's your sink and your shower. And get one that you can wash and then, oh, yes. wash it occasionally. I usually like doing a light color, a white, because then you can bleach it. We right? have one more tip, right? So. When it comes to picking out furniture, a lot of times people won't think about heights. Right. You want your heights to vary. You don't want it to just be one note, one just one height everywhere. Gotcha. Kind of make it like a cityscape. Oh. When you're thinking of furniture, yeah, think yeah, of it yeah. as a cityscape. <clears throat> so we have a lovely table from the Rachel Ray collection. Why, that that is, is the perfect height. You don't want it to be like up here. You want it to be down a little. So that way you can add some more height to the table. You've got the sofa down, up, like it's like, your Just eyes like New York. bounce up and down, exactly. right? It, and always odd numbers, too, right? Yes. And, and threes. Another, we were just saying threes or fives, always odd numbers. You don't decorate in pairs uh, uh, no. of anything, right? No. Yeah. No. no even numbers. Odd numbers for decorating. <laughs>